Hey, what is going on everyone? Vega here from Serpent X Tech and in this video I want to talk about cryptocurrency taxes and filing it. Some of the things that I've seen like the trends, uh, what I've experienced and just kind of share a couple of options that you the end user might have. But first, I'm not a tax professional. I'm just a guy on the internet, right? I'm not a CPA. So please, I urge you, make sure to consult your local tax professional or CPA to make sure everything's above board, you're dotting your I's, you're crossing your T's and everything's squared away. The trend that I'm seeing though is, you know, as time has progressed, we're seeing a number of our favorite tax firms partner up with a number of our favorite exchanges, wallets or what have you. For example, TurboTax has partnered up with Coinbase and you can save up to $20 when filing with them. Uh, they do make it super easy and honestly, with my tax situation, I was able to get everything automatically imported uh, through integrations TurboTax has. Matter of fact, I'm going to play that video for you now. Uh, and the integrations that they have already built in made it super easy in five minutes I filed or got the bulk of my tax return done. I haven't filed yet. Uh, and they also support not just cryptocurrency type exchanges, but also obviously, you know, stocks, dividends, bonds, stuff like that. So it's very easy through TurboTax and that's only been made possible as the community has grown, as the cryptocurrency industry has grown and as these tax uh, you know, firms have upgraded. Now this is an old blog from 2019 but TurboTax has been taking steps to streamline the crypto community's experience uh, during tax season and they built in a number of solutions that allows users to import transactions from Coinbase to TurboTax with plenty of help and resources along the way. They're not the only ones because we also see that Cash App has partnered with Credit Karma Tax to allow you to easily file your taxes 100% free. Well, they say 100% free. I can't speak to that, but they got some good marketing. Uh, they even talk about users that file through them will be able to get their tax return uh, two days earlier than the competition, so on and so forth. Everything, by the way, in this video is going to be linked down in the description below. Some of it will be affiliate links, uh, but make sure to check that out. The biggest thing I want you to understand as we go throughout this video is that I want you to just take the information and choose what's best for you, okay? Uh, because Crypto.com also has an opportunity for users uh, called tax.crypto.com where it's supported in Germany, the UK, Australia, US, Canada, and more jurisdictions. And what's interesting to me is even though this is an exchange, Crypto.com is a, an exchange and a competitor to some of the favorites out there, uh, it does allow API integration or uh, CSV imports like you know from Coinbase, uh, Kraken, Konami, so on and so forth. Additionally, if none of these options are suitable for your needs or your setup, then you have uh, third-party applications like Cointracker.io and Coinly.io. Now, personally, Coinly.io seems to be the go-to for the crypto content community or crypto content creators. Uh, there's a number of reasons for that, but again, you need to make the best decision for you. For example, TurboTax allows easy integration not only with Coinbase, but with Coin Tracker, which I already have, uh, it doesn't have Coinly, but Coinly has a perk or has an advantage over Coin Tracker and um, uh, TurboTax itself. Because, for example, I could not import Cash App the way it records its data, how it notates its data. I could not just import the information from the CSV file, right? Because TurboTax wants it in a certain format. Cash App didn't provide that. You have to change a few things. But Coinly on the other hand does. It does allow you to import your cash app and then you can choose a plan and then export it. Now you do have to choose a plan unfortunately but we'll get into the pricing in just a moment. The next thing you need to do is what are the supported exchanges that both of these offer? For example Cointracker.io has a huge number of exchanges while it's supported uh, but so does Coinly. The biggest difference that I can see, and I haven't tested this out yet, so let me know if you know anything in the comments, is NFTs. Cointracker.io allows easy integration with your wallet, so that way you can track your NFTs, purchases, sells, what have you. Why well, I don't see something on Coinly yet. Now, I do see where you can integrate MetaMask, but is that something that's automatically built in? Like, will it be able to see it? I don't know. So let me know in the description or in the comments if you are using Coinly to track your NFT sales and purchases. Uh, but Cointracker allows that option 
and that might be something that many of you may be interested in and may help you sway the decision making process now here's the biggest hiccup or the biggest indicator of which way you're going to go cointracker.io has plans right for free both of these will do 25 transactions but when you start getting into 100 or 1000 transactions or more that's when the price and the differences between the two become very apparent uh, even though they support a number of our favorite exchanges and wallets it's really going to come down to how many transactions have you had for the past year and what is the price you're willing to pay right you're not only going to have to pay for your tax filing but you're going to have to pay for this software to complete all the information you need to file your taxes so right here for a thousand transactions cointracker.io charges 200 bucks but coinly only charges 99 bucks a hundred dollar difference and um, of course they show that you can do unlimited transactions uh, for 180 but of course unlimited is not really shown on cointracker.io it does say C for pricing but I like websites that kind of give me everything up front not try to hide it behind a number of links now cointracker.io is a program that I've been using for quite a while as I mentioned for my situation it was easier to use because it was easily integratable or TurboTax already had it integrated. All I had to do was select it, import, boom, done. Got all my Coinbase transactions, got all my Coin Tracker transactions, all that good stuff that I needed. Uh, but the biggest thing is Cash App for me would not import the way TurboTax wanted it. So I used Coinly to do so, get the information nice and neat, and then present that to TurboTax. But you can wind up going through any one of these firms, Crypto.com, Cash App, TurboTax, or many more options out there. The good news is in today's market, as cryptocurrency has gone more and more mainstream, we're seeing a number of trends where these institutions or tax filing firms are partnering with our favorite exchanges and wallets, making integration easier, making taxes a lot easier, when it would be a lot harder back in the day you know, having to use a massive amounts of Excel sheets, go through each transaction and define it, especially when it comes to mining. For example, mining rewards to me is the biggest uh, point that the government needs to get right. Uh, for example, the court case about the Tezos staking rewards needs to get finalized because I really believe that mining rewards should be taxed or under the same guidelines as staking rewards where it's taxpayer created property and we're not taxed on that we're only taxed on when we take that mining reward or staking rewards and convert it to fiat whatever our local currency that's when i believe we should be taxed however you just have to pay attention to whatever your local regulation is country or otherwise um, and just hope for the best but it's gotten better it's certainly gotten better integrations there it's very easy to connect your exchanges or wallets import your transactions uh, re show your, your realized gains and losses and all that good stuff, which is making it much easier in today's market. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out the links in the description. Um, some of them are affiliate links and provide a kickback, but we appreciate your support. Now, one more thing that I forgot to mention before I let you go is um, if I'm a miner, and this is just a hypothetical, um, if I'm a miner, I do not mine to an exchange because when you do export those exchange, uh, you know, transactions in a CSV or whatever, the software is going to record every single one of those as income unless you signify that it was a mining reward or this or that, which you can do in Coinly and some of the other software. But I don't mine to an exchange because I don't want all of those transactions to be counted as, you know, I'm buying or selling or trading or whatever. I only mine to a wallet that I have full control over private keys and then I send to an exchange when I need to convert to fiat that's what I do but you may do something differently anyways feel free to share your comments thoughts insight whatever you may have down in the comment section below and you all have yourself a wonderful day take care I'll catch you in the next one